I didn't really um, consider going into medical school until right at the last minute. Um, I was always going to be a pilot and then uh, I was colour blind so I couldn't, didn't get through their initial bits. I, I started off uh, with designs on being an orthopaedic oncologist while I was a student and, and kind of directed my studies in, in that direction and then did my first emergency medicine job as an F2 at City Hospital in Birmingham and uh, very quickly realised that emergency medicine was the was the job for me. I think the, the biggest change that I've seen is the um, teamwork and morale I think has, has flattened somewhat um, and certainly seeing a lot of friends from university and, and some colleagues who have gone overseas and just not come back. Um, and then there's the, the constant governmental stick um, to, to keep achieving targets with um, uh, whilst not increasing resource I think is a, uh, is a big player into that as well. I think it's certainly something that we are becoming more mindful of as a, as a profession. I think people when they're saying that they're struggling for whatever reason I think we are a lot more um, supportive now than we may have been 10-15 years ago now that we're aware of what uh, a bit more aware of what is um, what's going on because it is you know we do see some tough stuff um, and it is a uh, stressful environment being always expected to do more with less I think everyone would recognize that across the health service and that can take its toll so if it, whilst um, dealing with uh, resource and you know, finances is a, is a big thing whilst we can't make money and resource appear out of nowhere then hopefully we can um, help people handle the stress a bit better. If I could go back and give my younger self some advice um, it would probably be to say no more. Um, so yeah, I think the, the, <laughs> that would be the biggest piece of advice for, for uh, encouraging a healthy work-life balance would be to just learn how to say no once in a, <laughs> once in a while. Thank you.